today we are still in Santiago, but we are going to be noble carring up the San Cristobal Hill, which I was told is really beautiful. It's the highest hill here in the city in Santiago. I think you can see it from most places in the city. We were going to hike and then we were like, no, let's just take, it's a funicular. And then there's multiple cable cars, I believe, but the price is different for, it's either foreigners and locals or English speakers and Spanish speakers. So we're hoping it is English speakers and not for foreigners and locals because either way we cannot be a local, but we can be Spanish speakers. This is the main street in Bellas Artes, which is pretty central in Santiago and super, super close to San Cristobal. It's literally right here. But if you want to party, this is the place. I have to not get my phone stolen as somebody's biking. This is the place to do it. Bellas Artes. This is the party street. We were here on the Saturday night the other night and it's definitely wild. And here we are at the funicular and you can't really see the hill, but the hill, the hill is up there. I hope we get on. <laughs> we are here. up here oh my god <laughs> but it's beautiful and apparently eddie just told me that with the cable car it's four hours which i didn't know so we're gonna be up here all day let's see what we end up getting up to we could have come a lot more prepared for today i literally brought a jacket which i thought was being prepared because i thought it would be cold here but it is not that cold it's like 1 30 in the afternoon in the middle of october not that cold and my sunglasses i did wear sunscreen so that is good but we didn't bring any water we didn't bring any snacks you can buy of course water and snacks here which i'm sure we will do but here is one of the many different places you can buy water food snacks we definitely have it all up here Today. Oh my gosh. Well, we are on the first stop of two stops of the cable car on the San Cristobal mountain. It's so beautiful up here. The Andes mountains are actually right behind me. And this building is the tallest building in Latin America. And you can go up at this guy Costanera. You can go up at, I think it's 12,000 Chilean pesos around there. This for the funicular and the cable car was 8,000. And you can get a bus here, which I think that is around 10 or 12,000 with the bus included, because there's so much to explore here. But we didn't want to get the bus. That's a bit too much exploring. But this is the Sky Costanera. And then you can see the Andes Mountains, snow-capped mountains here. It's just a perfect day, mid-October weather. I brought a jacket, probably didn't need to do that. So behind me, we have the Sky Costanera building and the Andes Mountains. Wow. This is probably one of my favorite cities, if not my actual favorite city that I've been to so far, traveling Latin America for the last year. And they even have Wi-Fi up here, so you can, I don't know, get work done. It's actually a really nice place to probably come and chill, especially here. I think this must be like a wedding venue here, but uh, yeah, really good Wi-Fi up here to post or answer any emails. got down we ended our day we spent probably a good three hours up there i would say a lot to see we could have easily spent all day up there if we wanted to walk around and see everything but we just kind of did a little bit of walking got back on the cable car went to the last stop you actually we didn't know this but you actually don't need to get a round trip if you want to just get the one way 
coming from Bellas Artes. And then when it goes, the cable car goes to like the end instead of going back around. You can basically just walk into the city because it's at the bottom. But we got the round trip, so we came back to where we started. But you don't have to do that, which we didn't know. Today we're going to play tennis at this place super, super close to our house in Bellas Artes. I will hopefully find the name when we get there. We just walked past it the other day and it's 10,000 Chilean pesos for a court for one hour and then a little bit more to rent the equipment. Ended up playing like five minutes late because the administration was just a mess. And then we got kicked out five minutes early. So we only played for 15 minutes, which kind of sucked because they had to clean the courts, but nobody's here. So I don't know, we'll probably find another one to go to for the next time. Today we are on a tour. It's in the Andes Mountains and that's really all we know. It took like two hours to get here from Santiago. We're walking somewhere and it's pretty high altitude, but it looks really, really beautiful. So even though we don't have any surface here, I checked the map and we're super close to the Argentine-Chile border, which I didn't realize. So it was probably the way that we came from Argentina to Chile is the way that we came back. And I'll put it up here because we're very close to the border and the mountains are all in this area. We made it to the final end point. There is still more road to keep walking, but it's so beautiful here. Altitude is better once you're here for a little while. And it probably took like 30 minutes, 20 or 30 minutes to walk up to this point. So it wasn't too bad. And this tour that we took, we just found it online and it was 30 US dollars. And I think it's about eight hours it said online, but the pickup was at five in the morning. And that was a bit early. Sun has come out a little bit more. With the wind, it's a bit chilly, but without the wind, it's honestly not too, too cold in November. When we first arrived, because we just, in the, the bus, it went up pretty quickly up the mountain. It was a little bit difficult to breathe when we got out, but now we are a lot more used to it. And we're also walking a little bit downhill, so that helps. What an interesting day. We ended up walking to, what was the name of the market? It's the biggest market in Santiago. It was called Vega Centro, I believe was the name. It is pretty central in the central area of the city. And we used one phone. It was not a place where you really want to start taking out your phone and filming. So my partner would take out his phone and film and I would look around and see who was around us to make sure that everything was good and the phone would not get stolen. But I love adventuring in these cities and markets and the local places where the locals really hang out because it lets you see what their lifestyle is truly like and I, f I personally feel that you get a glimpse into what their daily life looks like when you are going to the places that they get all their food and their groceries and they're shopping every single Sunday so it was interesting if you are in Santiago in Chile I would highly recommend going everyone who I spoke to our walking tour guide everyone says to go we saw I think one other pair of foreigners while we were there and it was Sunday. So it was the busiest day today. It was super busy. It was really fun. It was pretty big and they sell literally everything. Vegetables, there were clothes on the street being sold. Um, basically you can get all of your groceries done for easily, easily half the price of what you would pay in the grocery store. Pretty sure it's all of the vendors are only open on the weekend slash on Sunday. We only have been on Sunday, but it was very interesting to experience their life and see what the local living looks like. We have been in beautiful Santiago for one month. So it's time to move on and go to the next destination. 
thank you for watching, for subscribing. I am always releasing more content about not only my travels around the world and what that looks like as a full-time digital nomad, but also content about tax residencies and different places that you can go to optimize your global situation as a global citizen. So hit subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.